<laughs> hey everyone, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcleTechZonePage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marces with your Wednesday morning forecast update. Another very cold start to the day. We do have temperatures in the 20s and 30s once again, but uh, a few of us here along I-20 safely above freezing, but most other locations in the ArcleTech starting out below freezing. So another morning, kind of need the thick winter jacket on to start the day here, and it will still be a cool afternoon as well, although just a few degrees warmer than yesterday. See visibility in good shape this morning, so no fog on the roadways, and uh, winds at the moment out of the north at 5 miles per hour, but as we move through the day today, uh, our weather changes will start happening again. South wind returning today, and uh, we will see plenty of sunshine through the first half of the day, but with that south wind returning and our next storm system on approach, we will see increasing clouds tonight, and that will actually hold most locations uh, above freezing overnight. See pinpoint Doppler is quiet this morning, and uh, kind of enjoy the sunshine while we have it today. We may actually not see the sun again until early next week, as you see some of the cloud cover there across New Mexico, Texas. Eventually, that is scooting in our direction. High pressure, which has kept us dry here for the past few days, is uh, scooting out of the way. And the big red L you see off the California coast there, that's our next storm system, which will uh, quickly make its way in as we go Thursday night into Friday, and it will linger through Saturday morning. So we will be dealing with some periods of heavy rainfall as well. Your highs today will be a little bit warmer than yesterday, but not by much. Still a cool afternoon for us as uh, most areas today, low to mid 50s. And we'll show you future cast here. Won't be much to see. I do think we'll see some upper level clouds that kind of move through as we go through the day today, but we will stay rain free. And again, with the uh, changes in the weather pattern as far as some of the cloud cover and the south wind returning should help to uh, kind of blanket us just a little bit tonight. So it will still be very cold, but I think most locations will stay above freezing tonight and into your Thursday morning. But we'll show you kind of the long range outlook here as we go into uh, Thursday, Friday. You see, by Friday afternoon, we do have rain falling across uh, pretty much most of the Arkeltex here, especially for that Friday afternoon, Friday evening commute. Rain will be heaviest Friday night into Saturday morning. And again, a few thunderstorms will be possible as well. At this point, still not anticipating that we'll see any severe weather due to the cooler temperatures that we'll have in place here. And even Saturday morning, we still have some rainfall ongoing and uh, may continue to see the rain throughout the day Saturday, especially along the I-30 corridor. Forecast models coming in a little bit warmer this morning. So the uh, some of the advertising as far as the sleet, the snow, and uh, maybe a winter mix across the I-30 corridor Sunday morning pretty much have been pushed further to the north here up towards Little Rock, Memphis. So at this point, not too concerned about any winter precipitation here in the Arkeltex, but we are still monitoring the potential for some heavier rainfall forecast models this morning, still showing a good two to three inches of rain for all locations during that kind of 36 to 48 hour window late Thursday through early Saturday. And uh, nice to see the corridor of heavier rainfalls uh, pushing a little bit further to the south. So there still could be some corridors where we do see those three to five inch amounts along and south of Interstate 20, but hopefully we can keep most of the Arkeltex kind of in that two to three inch range rather than anything higher than that. So tomorrow we will be overcast mid 50s for us once again. And uh, again, Friday, kind of a messy day. Same thing, at least the first half of the day, Saturday, chilly weekend as well. Highs will be in the 40s, maybe a few lingering showers there on Sunday. And we will get the sunshine back early next week with the uh, kind of cool December pattern sticking around. Overnight lows tonight will be above freezing and should stay above freezing for much of the upcoming weekend.